So I thought we would unbox the Proteus water sensor. Um, and uh, part of it is it's, it's a flood sensor. And the important thing about it is that it detects water in your basement. So if you have a flood or if you have a leak, uh, you want to get a notification of that before your basement floods. And, and this has saved me on several occasions um, uh, when there's been a leak, a problem with my uh, whole house water filter system. Um, I had some problems with that. I had a leak and I had a, a system, you can watch my other video, that called me on the phone and would say flood, flood. But that device broke every two years. I would have to replace it. That didn't work. So I was looking for a sensor that would notify me when I have a leak. And just to show you what the sensors look like, you, you've probably seen them. I have one over here. Here's one of them. Just to show you that. Water would make the contact. You put that on the floor. It's pretty simple. And I have three of them in the basement. Uh, the wires all come here. And they're spliced. I make the connection and uh, connect that uh, and um, it works pretty well uh, but I was looking for a system that would notify me by text by emails uh, a text on your phone is just basically an email to your phone uh, that's really all it is if you email it to your phones uh, something like the phone number at like for, for Verizon it's like vpix.com uh, you could google it uh, what I was thinking of doing at first was I have this sensor which is similar that I'll show you the XW111 that controls um, that's connected to that relay which uh, senses electricity from the generator so every time the generator turns on uh, it, op it closes that relay the sensor sees that and sends me an email and a text message that the generator is on now the XW111 it's a great great sensor you should watch that video that I made it's great um, the only shortcomings it has is um, it has two connectors, so I could put a second one for the flood sensor. But I ran into a problem when I tried it. Um, the first problem is uh, it was very sensitive. And um, it, thought that, um, the, it thought that the flood sensor was showing a closed circuit when it wasn't. And that's because it sensed the resistance and uh, with these three wires uh, with three sensors all um, spliced together the XW111 thought that it was a closed circuit and was sending out a, a message all the time flood flood so that didn't work I actually measured it with a multimeter I don't remember I'm not an electronics expert it didn't uh, when I tested for continuity it didn't beep but it did show resistance, something like 0.5, if I recall. So whatever it was, it was fooling the this sensor into thinking it was a closed circuit. So I was looking for something different. Um, and I got this Proteus system, which is very similar. It also sends out text messages and emails. And I think it also will beep uh, as well, which is somewhat helpful. But if the truth is... With these systems, if you're not in the basement, you're not going to hear the um, you're not going to hear the the noise. They're just generally not loud enough. Let me just uh, get this ready. Okay, so let's open it up and uh, we'll check it out. So I ordered the 25 foot extension cable so I could put the sensor further out. So they included that in the box. Here's the box. And uh, seems pretty nice. Here's the sensor. I guess that's the little horn. Just plug it in. And that's it. All you have to do is plug it in. I think there's a little button here somewhere. Oh, on the side is the top is the connector for the flood sensor. And the bottom is to set up the Wi-Fi Direct, which we'll do. Oh, and look, you can unplug this. Uh, I'm not really sure. I guess you could just hook this up to a wire. I don't know. 
standard USB standard USB connector Let's take the plastic off okay let's see what else we got now we got a quick start guide and here yeah, the back of the box this is what it is Hmm. Okay. So the sensor itself. Pretty simple. This plugs in. And then this when you get water across the two copper lines, it closes the circuit. This knows is that knows that the circuit's closed. It should beep and then send out an email or a text. So let's see how that works. All right, so the first thing we'll do is uh, I've got a plug. Let's plug this thing in. Oh, and it lights up. Great. So I think Okay, I think we could press the button and look for the Wi-Fi Direct on the iPad. Oh, here we are. Make some room, Proteus, Proteus setup. Let's see. Sorry for the glare. Okay, so we'll click on Scepter Rotas, Rodius, whatever that is. Let's see if we can see it better. Oh! Look at that, it just jumped to that screen. So first you want to allow it to connect to your router. So click on that. And then the Wi-Fi password. Da -da -da -da. Whatever. Let's see. Okay. Um. Okay, just trying to put this password in correctly. Um, hold on. Okay, and it says your time, add your primary email. Okay, let's do that. All right, so you just have to put in your primary email 
and then the device will was blinking and then it beeps and then you're done and it says it'll give you an email with your settings so uh, let me check that out so I did it a second time um, and it, it, it gave a different beep and I did actually get an email and the email is good because the email gives you the IP address to go to program the device. Click on the IP address 192.168.1.174. Let's see what happens. All right, so after fiddling with it a little bit, um, you click on the email and you set up your password and then you can log in. Save the passport, password, and then it's, uh, it says Prateus Water Center. So, a, so it says error. I don't know if you can see that. My guess is the error is because the sensor is not plugged in. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, so the error is plug it in. Hmm. Plugged in now. Oh, okay. Oops. So we reset it and it says dry. So the next step is to set up the alarms. All right, so we're back, and we're going to try to set this thing. Let's just see. We hit alarms, alarm logs. Just tells you the cable was unplugged. That's interesting. Um, home settings. Normal alarm when wet. Snooze after 20 minutes. Okay, that makes sense. To a buzz for 20 minutes. Okay, emails. So you can add more. Um, what you do is you can add your cell phone number as an email, which is good. I'll do that. Notify me when alarms are reset. I don't know. Notify me if power Wi-Fi goes down for more than 30 minutes. That's actually very good. Now, if Wi-Fi goes down, it's not going to be able to contact you. But if power goes down, it also won't be able to. But uh, I guess when it goes back on, it'll tell you. All right. That's interesting. Optional email list for alerts on power Wi-Fi issues. All right, that makes sense. I'll do that. So, well, let me see if you can see this. So, um, what's interesting about this is it actually tells you uh, how to get text alerts to your cell phone. Um, so all the popular numbers. You see Verizon, it's a 10-digit phone number at vtex.com. I've had some issues with vtex. They also have something called vpix.com. You put in your Verizon, same thing, but instead of vtex, you go vpics.com. That seems to work better for me. But this is very helpful. What's great about this uh, Proteus system is that they have their own email server. On the XW111 that I showed you up there, it 
you have to use your own email server and Google gives you a very hard time with Gmail they don't want to accept uh, that little device logging in they think it's a security risk yes I know you can buy, try to bypass that by um, creating a way for that to log in with the security but I've always had trouble with it, um, it um, Gmail didn't want to send out the email uh, notifications so I tried Yahoo it, it all worked for a while and then the system just started to block me G Gmail then uh, Yahoo so I found a separate server um, you can watch that video uh, it'll give you the details of how to do that and that works but still it um, when Gmail gets the email it thinks it's spam and there's nothing I can do to get that to work I tried and tried and tried so basically I am getting for the generator one I am getting text messages um, but I'm just pointing out what's great about this system is you don't have to deal with that they have their own email server Proteus and that's worth something so they're just sending out the email um, Gmail should have a problem with it because it's a real email server um, and so it should really work uh, well and we'll test that out okay so we got this So, once we've saved the settings, we can go back to the main uh, page and let's take a look at this. Let's try to trigger the alarm and see what happens. Hmm. You get an audible alert. So, let's see. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so it says wet. So now it says wet. Um, and now the question is, did we get an email? Uh, let's see. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, Gmail. Okay, so now... You did get something saying Proteus water sensor detected water. That's good. So the email notifications are working. Alright, so disconnected it and so it stopped so that's pretty good it's pretty audible I have to say I'm not sure if you'd hear it uh, from upstairs if this is in the, a boiler room uh, but you'll get the email um, I, and uh, so that's very positive that they're sending out the emails you don't have to worry about that um, I think the only recommendation I would make is I think that it would be helpful, and you can look in the logs, it would be helpful if there was an app. I think an app would work well, so you don't have to like go on the web page and, and whatnot. That's just my recommendation to them. But so far this seems very good. Um, I'm going to test it for durability, see how long it lasts. Uh, but so far it's a very reasonably priced system. It's sending out the notifications. And uh, I'm just going to play with it to make sure that uh, we got the text messages on the uh, Verizon phone. And uh, But that's it. But so far, so good. Um, if you're interested, take a look. I'll, I'll put the, all the links in there, and uh, I'll keep you updated with uh, how it's working. And uh, take care. If you like, make sure to check, uh, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe.